Welcome to Properties of Trees. I am Suman Matthews and I will be guiding you through this course. The topics taught in this course are what is a tree and basic properties of trees. Now a connected graph which has no cycles is called a tree. These are examples of trees. There are no cycles and this is connected. There are two trees. A forest consists of a set of disconnected trees. So we have three trees and all three of them together form a forest. In a tree there is one and only one path between every pair of vertices. So we prove this. Let T be a tree. Since T is a tree there exists a path between every pair of vertices. If there are two paths between every pair of vertices then the union of the two paths will form a cycle which is a contradiction because the tree cannot have a cycle. Hence, we have proved that there is one and only one path between every pair of vertices. Next theorem, a tree with n vertices has n minus 1 edges. So, we prove it by induction. Let Pn denote the statement that a tree with n vertices has n minus 1 edges. When n equal to 2, a tree with 2 vertices has only 1 edge. So, the result is true when n equal to 2. Assume the result is true for a tree with k vertices. What does that mean? If, if t is a tree with k vertices, it will have k minus 1 edges. Now, to proceed with induction, let t be a tree with k plus 1 vertices. You want to prove that t has k edges. So, let e be an edge in t. So, t minus e is disconnected because t is a tree. And since t is disconnected, it has two components, say t1 and t2. And T1 and T2 are trees because T minus E is a tree. So number of vertices in T1 and T2 is less than K plus 1. So by induction, each of T1 and T2 have one edge less than its number of vertices. So total number of edges in T1 and T2 put together will be K plus 1 minus 2, which is K minus 1. That means T minus E has K minus 1 edges. So T has K edges. So therefore pk plus 1 is true, hence by induction pn is true and hence a tree with n vertices has n minus 1 edges. Coming to a question, show that the complete graph kn is not a tree when n greater than or equal to 2. So we prove this for k3. This is k3. In a complete graph there exists an edge between every pair of vertices and in this diagram k3 is a complete graph. So we have V1, V2, V3, V1 is a cycle. And what are we asked to prove? That a complete graph is not a tree. So because there is a cycle, K3 is not a tree. Hence, Kn is not a tree when n greater than or equal to 2. The next theorem, prove that a connected graph with n vertices and n minus 1 edges is a tree. Let G be a connected graph with n vertices and n minus 1 edges. Suppose G is not a tree, then G contains a cycle, say C. Let E be an edge in C. Then G minus E is connected because we are removing one edge from the cycle. So G minus E is connected. So G minus E is a connected graph with N vertices and N minus 2 edges. So number of edges in G minus E will be number of vertices in G minus E minus 2. This is a contradiction because if G is a connected graph, number of edges is number of vertices minus 1. So our assumption that G is not a tree is wrong and hence a connected graph with N vertices and N minus 1 edges is a tree. I quickly run through the proof again. We start with suppose G is not a tree. What do we have to prove that a connected graph with N vertices and N minus 1 edges is a tree? So we assume that G which is a connected graph with N vertices and N minus edges is not a tree. And we come to G minus E where E is an edge in the cycle C. So G minus E will be a connected graph with N vertices and N minus 2 edges. This contradicts the fact that a connected graph with N vertices has to have N minus 1 edges. And here we are getting N minus 2 edges. So we get a contradiction. I have just repeated the proof for a better understanding. Next question, prove that if G is a graph with N vertices, N minus 1 edges and no cycles, then G is connected. Suppose G is not connected. 
So you can write GS G1 union G2 union GK where each GI is connected. Since G has no cycles, GI will be having no cycles. So GI are connected acyclic graphs that means each GI is a tree. Let GI have Ni vertices. So by our property of tree, GI will have Ni minus 1 edges. So number of edges of G will be N1 minus 1 which is number of edges in G1 plus N2 minus 1 up to Nk minus 1. That is N1 plus N2 up to Nk minus K. So number of edges in G will be N minus K because N is N1 plus N2 plus Nk. But K is greater than 1. So, we have n minus k is less than n minus 1. Again, a contradiction arises because g has n minus 1 edges. And here you are getting less than n minus 1 edges. So, our assumption that g is not connected is wrong and g is connected. So, you have learned what is a tree, basic theorems involving trees, what is a forest and relationship between number of vertices and number of edges in a tree. Thank you for watching. Do tune in for my next course, next session.